Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're just going to be making a poster for Ski Master Slump God. So this poster is going to be a two-tone poster. And with two-tone posters, you generally have two colors. We'll think of the color combination later on in the video, but at this current stage, I'm thinking something like red or blue together. But we'll, we'll test it. We'll see what happens. So first, we're just going to enlarge the image a bit on the, on the A4 canvas here. Yeah? So you can enlarge it by holding control um, by hitting control T. So once that once that activates like the like the lines around the uh, photo, then you can just click on click and drag one of the points, and you can see it increases or decreases depending on which way you go. So we're just going to increase it quite a bit, and once it keeps increasing, we're just going to try to make it fit for the entire canvas. So around around that much looks pretty good so we'll just keep it there let's center it and now the next step we'll be just cutting him out the background so we can change it much easily to whatever we want so for this we're just going to create a new layer you can hit this plus icon in the corner which creates a new layer on top of the original layer but once we have that we're just going to go to the pen tool and select pen tool a shortcut for that is p so we're just going to select one of the points here i've chosen over here and just click on the point your next point wherever you want and just drag it until it aligns with the outline of ski so on one of the anchor points hit alt click in the middle and that will get rid of the line and you just continue tracing around the same way see if the error happens like that you just control Z, control Z again, control Z again, and we'll give that another go. And just this time, you can just hold it to curve the pen tool. So, same thing again, we'll, we'll cut it there and we'll continue curving and just trying to make it to, to the outline as best we can. So, around there looks good as well. And we'll give it another go over here, second curve. So, this one's a bigger one, which is much harder. So just gonna click here and drag as well. Yeah, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a perfect alignment, but as long as you can get the basic shape of it, that's the thing that really matters a lot. So pretty much with that, we're gonna try curve around the ear next. So we'll just go back, back, we'll zoom in so we can see what we're doing a lot better. Go and we're gonna click and and hit alt in the center once that button comes up there we go so from there on we're just gonna continue so his durag it does have much like a lot of curves so we're just gonna work through these fairly quickly and just see where we can get to so now we're a part of it now we're just gonna be making that align around his drag and hat. So the hat shouldn't be too difficult, but we'll just try to keep it consistent and cut it as best as we can. So for, for the hat, since it's one big curve, we can create a point here and drag it. And so creating much larger ones, make it easier and kind of like save time as well. So we'll probably connect it back up here and curve again. And this one, you can see it's a slightly higher curve. So we'll just, do it that way and this one's a straight one which you see here now well after you created the straight the straight curve so you see there's like a point over here where it's it's kind of like a joining joining end so you're gonna create the opposite way you want to go and just curve it just like that we've curved it pretty much and we will keep connecting it and keep curving it after you've done that just I think see so with these ones it's like a lot of ridges since of uh, you can see the diamonds or sh crystals or whatever it is we're just gonna do one big one instead of going through all the little crystals and making it very rigid and like and very very time consuming on our part because we're trying to get the best outcome with 
with the with the amount of time we have, right? So we'll just curve this the hat. It doesn't matter if you go outside the canvas. It really doesn't make a big difference at all. So we're just gonna keep curving around the do rag, keep it going. And this time, same thing, just going outside the canvas. And so some of the more difficult parts, as you can see, which are coming on is the facial hair. Now the facial hair, that can be quite challenging as well, but we'll try to work through that and see where, how we go about doing that. There's a few ways which you can do, which really isn't that difficult, but like for example, you can use the magic wand tool, but pen tool is always much more accurate. And with the pen tool, it's, much, it's a much cleaner, cleaner cut because with the, with the magic wand tool, let's say you make your selection, it's gonna pick up probably on other parts which you don't want to, and that can be an issue. See for this one, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do a part of his eyelashes because I'm sure a small detail shouldn't be that big of a deal because we're, we're just creating this for example sake for tutorial, but when you guys are doing it, you wanna make sure it's much, much more cleaner because it will show in the final product for you guys. But I'm just, I'm just gonna keep it fast just to show how to create the two tone in the very end. So I think we've gone a little bit too much there. So I'm just gonna chop it off there as well and we'll keep it moving. So we're nearly done. So that was a matter of just a few minutes, but depending on how you're used to the pen tool you are, that can vary quite a bit. And once you get used to it, really not that difficult to cut really clean images. Like in the few minutes that we have done this cut over here, I'll show you what how it came out to be. It just it just proves furthermore that you don't have to be exact and and really that accurate to have the best cuts. So with the ones we've done just quickly here, I'll show you as an example. It's still much better than the so than the magic wand tool. So what you want to do now is you just want to click on the outsides, click on the outside, connect it up to that first point and just hit control enter. Now make sure you're on the ski mask layer and after that just hit marquee or which is shortcut M and right click and click layer by copy. So whatever was inside the selection is is basically a a new layer on top. So as you can see, it's selecting everything on the outside where we want everything on the inside. So you go control shift I and it's just the inside now. So same thing again in marquee, layer by copy and you can see it's just ski master slump got now. See, it's a still very clean cut. And so in this case, what we're gonna try to do is we're just gonna, basically just gonna try to create a color palette behind him, maybe a lighter color the yellow that he has on and we'll change the color accordingly and see how how to fix it so i think the yellow color matches it pretty well unless we go for that dark gray color which really isn't that good so now to make a two-tone you just go new layer and then you pretty much go to gradient map and just select and you just edit these two. Click on, double click on that, click on here, and select whichever color you want. Now I'm gonna choose from the basic palettes, oh, sorry, not the basic palettes, one of the color palettes here. So these two, as you can see, they're pretty good combination. It's just a, it's just a matter of finding which one really works well for the image. So this one works really well with that dark blue and light blue. But I think with that blue, if we were to kind of lighten it up a little bit, and with that light blue, we might bring it up just quite a bit. See, this this resembles a lot of the Spotify kind of look that people usually do on the Spotify platform. So that's a really clean image. And we'll change up the background to another 
color which really on this it doesn't really make a big difference but another thing you can do is you can create other layer images on top of it and a different gradient map so for example if I go double duplicate that and change that to maybe a pink and then I just go layer mask and just select a portion of it for example this and just create black part for this you can see it creates some pretty cool effects depending on how you look at it so that looks pretty cool with this hat and a different color you can do but I'm just going to keep it really simple I'll be adding some text saying ski mask ski mask and from top of there we're just going to increase the text and we're going to write the slump god the slump god but this text will keep very small a lot smaller than the initial text we created so for that i'm looking at maybe about 60 or so 60 so it fits well together and we're just gonna just to finish this off we're just gonna add a border around it so with the border we're just gonna use our we're gonna use our gradient map we created but in this case we will be just um, using this and creating a square around it so for the inside you're gonna select nothing and for this We'll put the gradient map as a as a layer on top of it and just go create clipping mask you'll see what i mean very shortly i'm going to increase this to kind of make it a little bit thicker make it 40 so it kind of looks much nicer and we're just going to drag this out so around there looks good to me Drag this out here a bit, drag this out here a bit. We'll keep we'll, we'll try to keep the text in between as well. So yeah, that looks pretty good. And the text, I'm just gonna double click it and click right, and I'm just gonna shift it and decrease the size just a little bit so it's inside the box. So decreasing it a bit more. And there we go, Ski Master Slump Got and move that up a bit. And now in this case, like I was talking about, the gradient map we created before, I'll take it on top of that and right click, create clipping mask. You can see it has that nice pink color as well now, which kind of gives it a little bit of a unique look. And with the Ski Mask text, I can just kind of sample that pink color as well and just put it together and it really just brings the whole thing together really well. But I think I might change the slump guard to that pink text. Now pink works fairly well, but we can we can give another color a go. So we're just gonna quickly split test with maybe a nice, yeah, pink color looks pretty good with that. Purple works really well. Or yellow. See, it's just a matter of just playing around and seeing what works, what doesn't. Red could be, red could be an interesting one, but yeah, red and blue, red and blue work really well together always. So I'm just gonna create it as red. Select it. Yeah, that works pretty well, but still not the outcome I'm looking for. So in this case, I'm just gonna. Probably play around with this one and make it go okay, for a different color scheme. Well, as to which one, probably pink. Pink look, yeah, just the original pink we're going for before. Yeah, that looks really neat. So in this case, we've pretty much finished the tutorial, and that's the schema slob god tutorial finished. I hope you guys were able to follow along. If you guys enjoyed the video, like the video, subscribe. Thank you very much for watching. 
We'll see you in the next one. Peace.